Lou the Marine asks, what should civilian and LE dudes look for in a set of dual tubes? Maybe break down in the differences, pluses or minuses to the Mod 3, the DTMBG, and the Sentinels. Uh, honestly, I do not have um, any experience with the DTMBG. Uh, I think the differences are, uh, are, are pretty obvious. Uh, in, in those three systems. So the mod three, from what I can, from what I can glean, uh, allows you to remove one tube and uh, use it as a pocket scope or handheld monocular. There are people that potentially have uh, a need for that type of capability. Um, uh, reasons why you would want to have uh, a pocket scope slash monocular, uh, you know, you can uh, attach to a spotting scope uh, for, uh, um, you know, night, night surveillance, uh, you know, lo low visibility applications, you, you can carry a pocket scope around your neck and kind of uh, peek into shadows and, and, and things like that. You know, when you're not wearing a full up helmet uh, or even, you know, a crown of thorns or a skull crusher or whatever you want to call it uh, to hold nods on there, you know, you can have them and tucked away and, and just kind of pull out, look at stuff real quick, scan and put it away. That's more for like close target recce stuff in an urban environment. Um, uh, you know, if you're like going to go do a drug warrant or whatever, and you're trying to look at potential, you know, is that gate got a chain on it or doesn't it? And you're walking down the street and you just got to take a quick look, you know, down between two houses or whatever and get a really quick assessment of what's going on. You can bring it up, look, okay. Yeah. There's a chain on there with, uh, with a lock you know, and then tuck your shit away and walk, keep on walking. Um, DTNVG, DTNVG is going to give you your uh, PBS 31 alpha style swing up with your, uh, with your tubes. Uh, I've never had a set of nods that could do that. That's not really true. I had a set of P PBS 15s once, um, but I, I, I don't have a need for that. We talked about that. Uh, on a previous Q and A, uh, I've got a I, because I I live the aviator ball detent life. My knots go up and down, up and down, up and down, really, really quickly. I have no need to cock my my things up here where I'm doing this and doing this and looking around, and I've got one up and one down and all this other shit. I'm either dual tube because I'm trying to look through knots, or they're up and out of out of the way, uh, and that's accomplished with a quick push of my thumb and, and a rotate uh, rotation up. Uh, and it locks in. Uh, and I'm talking about Sentinels uh, when I do that. Sentinels can be worn with a uh, dovetail or they can be worn with aviator ball detent. Um, we designed those that way. Uh, so, so they're, you know, they, they can, uh, they can use whatever mounting system you, you want to use. I prefer using them with the aviators ball detent, although they do stick out a little bit. Uh, they, they're, uh, ball D10 is an adapter, so it does add a little bit of distance out away from my helmet more than other uh, systems like the PBS 23 uh, fusion goggles or, or uh, ground panoramic night vision goggles that are all aviators ball D10. So uh, you basically are going to have to decide, you know, what you want your nods to do and how you're used to employing your nods or how you want to employ your nods, and then you get a housing that best supports, you know, your lifestyle or, you know, whatever you want to call it. So right, as of right now, I ain't found nothing out there uh, as far as the, the secondary market or, you know, housings that you can drop tubes in and kind of, you know, Frankenstein your own nods together that are better than the Sentinels. Um, I just, I really like them, but, you know, I'm kind of partial. <laughs>